Hey, what's up everybody? AKP Gaming, doing another Fallout 76 video. Are you bored of trying to grind through these lovely world challenges for the Order of the Possum? Like, for example, becoming the conduit 60 times, or just crafting loads of crap, or killing enemies with a musical instrument. It's a big pain in the backside. I'm going to tell you two other ways to make your life easier, which will allow you to buy more items out of this lovely vending machine. So let's get straight into the video. So, option number one. As you will see from the possum vending machine, I have uh, actually the plan backpack armor plated mod. I use it for my backpack. I made another video about the backpack that you must have i'll leave a link in the description if you do want to watch that but in terms of for me i've never done any of the challenges how did i get it the first option is unfortunately it's a little still grindy but when you're looking for plans at people's camps you can sell these plans people will sell them to you unfortunately it might set you back somewhere between 25 and 39,000 caps I paid, I think it was 37,000 caps for this one, so it was quite a lot of money, but it saved me doing the hard work. So first option, keep going around people's camps, keep surfing, and then you'll be able to find it. But the other one, which is finally back, it was very, very glitchy previously, is this. So the main three options. Option number one, it happens randomly, of course, normally between uh, sunset and dusk, but sometimes can unlock at other times, um, is the event Campfire Tales. This involves um, a little slow event. It's not like stupidly exciting like Radiation Rumble or anything, but once you complete it, sometimes you have a chance, like I did there, to unlock a possum badge. I don't know the exact chances, but it's somewhere between, I would say, 5 and 25%. So not a bad chance. Let's get into the next one. Now, the next one is the daily quest. It happens over at Kitty Corner Cabins. What you need to do is you need to go and speak to the robot at this location, and it will unlock Operation Tidy. What will then happen is that you will have a uh, sort of quest which will allow you to go around and collect toxic waste. And then once you've completed that, you will unlock a few things and also a 25% chance. It, apparently that's the role, but as we know as Fallout players, the random number generator really likes stiffing us. But a 25% chance of getting a possum badge on that daily quest so last but not least and before i give you the um actual quest make sure you stay around because there is an important bit about this one it's the daily quest that happens at dolly sods wilderness it's called stigs and things it's basically you have to go around go and collect uh rad rope meat uh blood bug porisky busky busk or something whatever it's called um stigwig barb and a few other items now the main thing and the most important thing is most people will just go and grab one but because they're declared as junk, do not scrap them, keep them. And then as soon as you go there, most likely you're only going to need to get rad rope meat if it hasn't, of course, expired from your last playthrough. And that makes it much easier. It has exactly the same chance as Operation Tidy, which is a 25% chance of a drop. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Let me know down in the comments down below what plan you like out of the possum vending machine. And let me know what other videos you would like me to do. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.